Welcome back to week 17. I'm sorry, playoff week. Why I call it week? Uh, Sip Taylor presents Ravens Roundup. And uh, we're going to talk about film from week 17, though. My guy Ben Powers finally got a chance to get on the field. You know, and if you follow me through the draft content, you know that I picked Ben Powers to kind of be our starting left guard about midway through the season to finish, year, finish the year out. That didn't happen because Bozeman did a great job this year. But, um, you know, with people sitting Sunday, Ben got a chance to finally be active one. Then the two, you know, get in and play some. So what I did was I took Ben's first drive, and I'm going to talk about what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it. And I kind of just skimmed through them so I didn't pre-study them. I just want to kind of get my raw thoughts out, you know, with you guys. And so without further ado, let's get into um, Ben Powers and his first drive as a Baltimore Raven. And this is Ben Powers right here playing right guard actually playing a yonder spot. I don't know if this is a precursor for next year or the year to come, but uh, let's, let's, let's do it. Okay, this is outside zone left. So let's say the outside zone left. So what should happen is he should end up taking over number 79. And number 79 is Javon Hargrave. If I'm not mistaken, yes, Javon Hargrave. For the Steelers. So he's going to try to overtake 79 with a little help from the center. Good job of going lateral. So what happens here is because he did not. He did not. So let's go back. Let me explain that a little bit more. If Hargrave would have slanted to this gap. Because he's a zero take nose. So he either has this A gap or this B gap. If Hargrave had slanted to that gap. He would then belong to Ben Powers. Hargrave goes this way with the center. So now Powers has to come down. Make sure nobody comes in this gap then climb to the next level because Stanley's job is to cut off uh, 94. Nobody's coming, nobody's coming. Isaac, go take on 98. Finish the play. That's Ben's first play. Nobody's coming, go finish the drive. Hold on, finish the block. Nobody's coming, nobody's coming. Take care of the second level guy. You know, technically that's a little spot right there just as could have hit, technically. But he also has a wall out here. I don't know what happened back here. We're not going to even go into that. Matter of fact, I do want to know what happened. That is Bozeman. Ooh, Edmonds brought it to Bozeman on that one. Low man wins. Edmonds is lower than Bozeman. Got that leverage on him. But we talking about being powers. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. So much going on in the play, you can kind of dissect everybody. Uh, again, Powers is right here. Let's let let's let the play play so we can see what should happen. Okay, outside zone right. Uh, I don't know if it's an RPO or play action or what. I'm not sure. I don't want to speculate. But basically, they run an outside zone with the O line. So with that being said, this is the exact opposite of the last play. Now nobody's head up on him. Next gap over which is 79 again. This is Anderson. I think, yeah, Javon Anderson. So his job is to, you know, solo block Javon. I don't I don't know if they should be doing inside or outside zone. Let's see if I can figure it out. They're doing inside zone. Look at the steps. Because none of these guys are trying to hook the guy. They're just trying to, you know, solo block and create a lane up in here in either one of these A-gaps. So this is inside zone. So his job now is inside number drive. So he's going to try to take that nine and drive him out he's trying to get his his face in the area of that nine on on javon anderson's body and just work him out with his steps good first step second step got contact got leverage he's lower than 79 so he got the leverage work your feet get 79 presses him a little bit work your feet and he runs him out of there he runs him out of there with leverage 79 does get a little press, but Powell still got both hands in the right spot and does a good job of running them out. So in my opinion, first drive, he two for two. Two for two. 100% in his first drive. All right, third play. This Powell's right here. 
Okay, we got a little double. Got a little double action. A little double action on 79. So basically most of his work has been on 79 so far. So what's going to happen here is uh, Makari and Ben's going to double 79. I think Makari's going to end up coming off to, I want to say Bush right here, I think. Ball snap. They close that gap. Look at him, hip to hip. Hip to hip. That's what a double team should look like. That's what it should look like. Take a picture of this, you know, and then young lineman out there. That's what a double team should look like. He has nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Now, both of their eyes should go try to find the second level guy. All right. So, Bush being over here, look at McCarr's eyes find the next, the second level guy. Look at his head. Right in the second level guy. And when he comes off, it's going to be all you, Powers. Slide it down some. Bam, right there. So, now, he slid off to the second level guy. And now, it's Powers and, and Anderson, mano a mano. Hey, three for three. Three for three so far. Next play. Let pass pro. Okay, we got a sack, but let's let's focus on powers. Whether well, we got sacked, Griffin got sacked. Let's focus on powers. Uh, again, here's powers here at right guard against uh, the same guy Anderson. Doesn't doesn't kick slide kind of side slide, kicks right kicks sideways, not kicks back. Kind of miss with that hand right there because that hand should be inside and not outside. He 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 want that hand on on that inside seven, not outside of that seven. So now he's he's off balance a little bit. Seventy nine is up under him a little bit. You can see him kind of on his toes, but you got to keep fighting. Look, look at his drop his butt. Look at him drop his butt and lower his base. Drop his butt and lower his base. Widen his feet out so he can get a better uh, base and just fight back. Now. Just fight back. So initially, 79 was winning this. But when he dropped his butt, lowered his base, and kind of his hand still outside, but his right hand in the right spot, he was able to fight back and stop penetration. He was able to fight back and stop penetration. Only thing I wish he would have took that hand and tried to get it inside. Because he, he has the shoulder pads, but he, I want that hand inside because that could borderline be called holding, depending on, you know, what refs you got and whatnot. But I take that. That four for four. Four for four. Next play. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Pass pro again. I guess kind of bull rush on that one. Uh oh. That's that's gonna be our first. He didn't give up a sack, but he he basically got bull rush. Didn't get a chance to, to sink his hips and, and set set in there. 79 got up on got that shoulder up on his chin. He's just driving his feet. Driving his feet. Oh yeah. We'll take 79 wins that one. So we'll go four for five on your powers. Four for five. And so this is the next play. This is the sixth play of the drive. I want to say this is third down. I think this is third down because we end up punting this drive. Again, powers is right here. A little off balance, but didn't give it up. Got a little off balance, but didn't give it up. Right, again, so basically, this son, this is drive. He worked on the same guy, Anderson, uh, Javon Anderson, and um, pass play again. Sliding. Oh, he got a little too. He got too far wide. Anderson tried to do a little inside move and got him off balance. You see the leg in the air, off balance. If Anderson had some kind of Quick shot with that left hand, he'd have a clear B to RG3 right now because Powers is off balance. Uh, but he lets him get that foot back down. He lets him get that foot back down. And look at him. He dropped it. He dropped that ankle right there. He didn't get any more. Um, he didn't push Powers in, back any further once he got that foot down and dropped his ankle. Drop. Now, stalemate right there. The stalemate. 
stalemate. So much of a stalemate that RG3 doesn't have to try to work around it. So he doesn't have to work around it. Good job, Powers. Good job of uh, recovering. So I would say on his first six plays, he was, you know, he would get a positive grade out of four of those six plays. That's um what, sixty-six point seven percent. Um, and I think if you go to Ken's page, he graded uh Ben Powers at a A or a B, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and that's on Ravens Film Study. He has a blog about O line play, he keeps it up all year long. Um but my guy Ben Powers finally got a chance to get in and show his worth, and I think he played a pretty good game. This was his first drive we showed you today. Obviously, he played more than I think he ended up playing like 20-some odd snaps. This was only six. And, um, you know, go check it out for yourself. But uh, This is week 17 film, but the wild card week coming up tomorrow. Today's Friday. I'll make sure we're going to check out all four of those games, and um, I think we got something special brewing for you tomorrow with a bunch of YouTubers. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think we got something special brewing for you. So you guys be on the lookout for all your favorite Ravens YouTubers coming up, possibly tomorrow. I'm going to get with those guys when I finish this and see if we're still doing that. Um, but this is Coach Evans and Sip the Tatter Films presents Ravens Roundup. Uh, ben Powell's first drive. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And um, that's it. With the puppies, 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 with the pupp